At least seven schools in the southern part of St. Lucia, St. Lucia will not be reopening for the third term of the academic year as scheduled. This decision has made to facilitate psychosocial support interventions for principals, teachers, and staff in the light of that surge in deadly gun violence in the area. That area has been declared an escalated crime zone by the government, giving police expanded powers to battle criminal activity. Unfortunately, this surge in violence has resulted in the deaths of several people, including a nine-year-old boy. Our teachers in the South are hurting, and they are also grieving. Some have lost family members and neighbors. We recognize that they are human and are affected by what has happened in recent weeks. This is why the Ministry of Education has recognized the need to provide such support. The interventions will help them cope and be in a position to better address the needs of their students. Minister Edward highlighted school security and safety as a top priority area, stating that this is a huge concern for parents, principals, students, and teachers. He assured the public that the Ministry of Education is taking steps to address this issue and that immediate action is needed to create a safe space within schools in the South. Minister Edward says he expects the situation to improve with the interventions being made by the central government. One should expect to see a greater presence of security personnel on the ground, police and private security, in and around school premises until such time that the situation improves as I expect it to, given the interventions being made by central government. We will also strengthen security measures at the schools through the implementation of new protocols and operations. These interventions will address the physical environment. However, the psychosocial well-being of students and staff is as critically important. The Ministry of Education intends to provide the necessary support to parents, students and teachers for the counselors at the various schools.